Hello and greetings, my fellow Long Darkians, and welcome back to the modded map tour of Shattered Marsh. Uh, I will probably finish it up in this uh, video. Uh, then we'll get to Forsaken Shore and the transition area around that. This is all part of the long development uh, map mod. I do have links and everything you do need to know and check out in the video description below. Alright, so last time we finished up here... Basically, it does kind of feel like a little bit like maybe I would say Forlorn Muskeg Bleak in a little bit because it's kind of like a bowl shape. We've been going up and around. There was an interesting bunker as well that was uh, all handmade uh, by them. Uh, long development modders. Quite good. It was really, really nice. A little bit of cattail. Not going to be grabbing everything. And I'm out of bullets because we tried to dance with the moose last time. And is... I was remember this early access, so sometimes things are weird, but what is that? Well, I kind of got to go check it out, and then we'll head back up that way. I think something's not working quite right here. I think maybe this is a fishing hut? Maybe something didn't load in quite right. Oh yeah, because it does feel like a fishing hut, doesn't it? Oh, it's a nice fishing hole. Okay. Yeah, this is kind of early access their beta, if you will, so... Useful. Did I get stuck? Oh no. Where's the real door? Okay, there we go. I got scared. Like I was trapped like a mine or something. Oh, man. Okay. I don't believe the weather cooperates today. We'll head up on this ridge over here because I did see some birch. But we're, we're doing this tour on uh, Pilgrim just because it's a lot easier. You don't have to worry about animals interrupting the video. And you generally get a lot nicer weather. We're going to just focus on a nice cozy time of showing off the map. I really wouldn't recommend going through the middle of the this ice area though because it's It's a little tricky until you really figure out all the uh, there's a lot of thin ice out there Let's go check over here This looks like it kind of just goes up to here But yeah, they got a little bit of birch overlooking the side Okay Pictures here I think when that's done, everything you'll have a nice ice fishing hut out there. Which I always kind of like to have at least, you know, we do have uh, ice fishing holes we can make. At least I had an option in every map to do that, you know. I do love me some fishing. This ice seems to be okay. Might be a little bit of a shorter video though because I know we're just coming back around to the entrance of the map but there might be a lot more to this one this is going up actually cat's hill down there and I think we'll head up this way just to check it out I do believe they have two more map regions in the works as well, uh, unreleased as of now. And they're working on a big oil rig, uh, a building as well that looks, uh, sounds quite promising.
Got a nice view over here as well. I do feel like there's something up this way, really. Kind of just got a natural feel to it. Well, we got some rose hip at least. Okay. And then maybe off to our left a little bit. Okay. But can I get over? I'm going to go that way in a second. I just want to see. Can I naturally get over here? No, that doesn't feel like somewhere I should go. Well, you can always, if you want to try to hurt, you could shimmy down to get back to the entrance. But we're going to go back over this way. Old man spirits like in over there. Okay. Where does this go? I kind of feel like it would loop back to the entrance, really. And then when we finish the match, I'll kind of give you my thoughts on this map. Uh, but overall, yeah, I like it. Well, uh, done. And they're not done tweaking with the edit. Oh, so there's a beach combing. Beach combing really doesn't work. Oh, this actually goes out. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Oh, cool. Okay, so this goes to Forsaken Shore. So this actually goes into the other map. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't done the map tour for this one yet, so... Okay. So this is quick and... Oh, nice. I like it. All right. Okay. And then, yeah, next time we will uh, head out to Fort Second Shore. I'll go the long way, though. Uh, the other way when you go into that, just to show that off. And then maybe we'll finish up there if we can. From here, though, we probably just shimmy down, I think. I mean, I mean, a player might naturally just kind of backtrack all that way, but it seems... Kind of silly. When you can perfectly Skyrim down. I'm not seeing any buildings or anything in the middle, really. We've kind of covered... All the way around here now. I don't think we'll fall. Yeah, we'll be okay. Head to back out and just see if there's anything else this way. I'm not sure I can carry much more. And I usually charcoal all the uh, locations and everything on the map for you, but the mapping isn't working on this mod. As of yet, anyway, so really can't do that. I'm sure somebody has probably mapped it out. There's a lot of great map creators in the TLD community with much better artistic skills than me. The big takeaway from this video so far is that, yeah, transition area to Forsaken Shore. Is there anything off to the left here? Because, yeah, the entrance, the exit out of there should be right over there. Let's see if there's anything. It looks like a... Kind of a dead end. Oh, we got some birch saplings, though. So it never hurts to take a look anywhere. All right. Pack of deer up here as well. Four, oh, three bucks in it. Well, wow, that I don't know if I've ever really. I guess in Pilgrim you would have more deer, wouldn't you? I really only pay Pilgrim for this uh, map tours. But that just that's so many deer. It's 
let's head back in. So a couple nice spots out here. You've got that bunker and then the airfield as well. And did I see, or I'm thinking... Forsaken Shore does have a forge, I believe. I don't think we have one out here. I think we'll find that one is in a very interesting location. Let's check to make sure there's one here. There could be one in the future though, but I think it kind of makes sense. To not have a forge in every single map. Make you work a little bit for it. Okay, let's head over this way. I do like that bunker as a location though. It's kind of a little out of the way though. You'd have to travel a little bit just to hunt, etc. There's that cabin by the airfield I probably recommend then. And back at the entrance should be that way. Yeah, so generally, probably if you just want to do a quick loot, probably take you two to three days winging it out. I would recommend to stay at that cabin. Maybe even in the bunker as well. Well-balanced map. I, I do like it. Did we never... Oh, this is actually the cave. Well, this is new, so I'm not actually home yet. Okay. I'll just look these for fun. Needs this anymore. Don't really need any items for a map tour. Except Will likes to eat, though. All right, so the collapse cave. So there's a cave here, too. So I think we got to go one more on the left side there. Oh, yeah, even more goodies. All right. I'm all up for more content. I think this is kind of released at a very good time. Uh, since we're kind of waiting for that DLC update. well fed yeah screenshot that because that doesn't happen very often <laughs> I don't normally feed well okay I use this map so I thought it was kind of up there but it's actually yeah it's a fair bit further Let's see if there's any more goodies over here anything else hidden away Cattails, Rishi mushrooms. Didn't see any hidden prepper caches, though I might be. Yeah, okay, so we're heading back to the entrance now. Nothing of that nature. Could be in later in, maybe I missed it. A bad thing I had in the video, also let me know in the comments below uh, of any location you discovered, maybe I didn't cover. deer down here this is yeah it's a and this took three solid years plus and that they did an amazing job <laughs> normally that would terrify me but it's like oh yeah we're a pilgrim don't don't worry about it I'll look. Make sure that we didn't miss anything on the way out. Yeah, so basically I think it's safer to go left or like go all the way right. Uh, both have great stuff, but uh, either way. And generally safer than going straight through the middle.
Very nice. Good amount of sticks as well. Yeah, this is a nice map to stand, and it could just be maybe it loaded wrong or something. I will probably double check in another video. And as far as I've seen so far, because I've been testing it, it does play well with other mods for the most part. Back around, and this should, the exit should be coming up fairly soon. We're heading back into the luminous cavern, and we don't know how to get that. Be sure to check out the first video where I cover the transition out to here. I do take you the all the way from Desolation Point all the way to uh, this spot right here. There we go. And we're back. But alright, uh, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Long Darkens. Be sure to leave a like and a subscribe for more Long Dark content. I will leave off here uh, next time. And I'll probably get the video in a day or two here. Uh, as soon as I can get it. We'll start doing the Forsaken Shore map. Alright, but I hope you end the transition area as well. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video.